lot coming my way, but I gotta make sure I handle it the right way. Jeremy Lin's sudden success has come like a New York minute. With the Knicks struggling, Lin finally gets his chance. He steps into the lineup, leads the team on a winning run, and solidifies himself as the Knicks' newest star. But the 23-year-old isn't just making an impact on game night, but also in the lives of his fans. He's very humble. Like, I, I followed him on Twitter, and he always says, like, God is great before he goes to bed, stuff like that. I'm cheering for Jeremy Lin because uh, he is the underdog, and uh, he, he's a good player. Well, the underdog and recent NBA afterthought used to make a home here right at the end of the bench. Then he finally erupts, becoming pop culture's number one new favorite playmaker. But frenzy aside, you can forget about that. The phenom himself will tell you it's all about God's favor. It's extremely overwhelmed and with gratitude and thankfulness. Lynn says his faith helps him sidestep the hype. The undrafted Harvard graduate has already been cut twice from two teams this season. He knows how fragile this window of opportunity can be. Um, with that comes the temptation to want to continue to hold on and grasp and micromanage my career, my future, this team. Um, but learning to surrender that to God, um, and really being diligent in prayer and the Bible. Lynn's spiritual convictions are far-reaching, pulling in the curiosity of fans and teammates. Spiritually, does it inspire you? Yes, it, it really does. It makes me believe that there is something out there. There's something like helping us. There's, there's a God. There's something out there that gives us something to believe in. You always think about, you never really believe that there is this outside influence, but, you know, when you see this, you kind of start to think about it. When stuff like this happens to someone, I mean, that's the, it, there's nothing you can do. It's, it's uh, definitely a higher, higher power looking out for you. And, uh, I mean, he's, he's been blessed so much with the stuff he's done. With a growing global audience watching, Lynn's on-court success is surpassed only by the impact of his off-court perspective. He was saying how like he was ready to give up and just be like, you know, I'm not going to do the NBA thing anymore. But the fact that like he believes in God so much and that he's the one that like helped him to like where he is today, I think that's like really important. As Lynn seizes this moment of a lifetime, the emerging floor general knows the wisdom of staying grounded. Basically, at the end of the day, it comes down to going back to the cross and uh, reminding myself where my identity is and what my worth is. From New York, I'm Tom Buring, CBN Sports.